Hey folks, Flip here, and welcome to Afterlife SMP, the evolution of X-Life, where we only have 10 lives, and combining with the Origins mod, each life we have will get a random origin to try and survive in this world. Leave a like if you're excited, and please subscribe as I'm trying to reach 1 million subscribers, and I really appreciate your support in getting there. It is time to log onto the server here, my friends, and figure out what our origin is. Whoa, check it out in here. Oh, what do we got? What do we got? The Illusioner, magic blind your enemies bowmaster friendly with pillagers unpopular with iron golems attacked on sight okay phantom form <gasps> i can be invisible oh my gosh and i can shoot arrows without them <gasps> that's amazing i'm here i'm not i'm here i'm not i'm here i'm not let's get dressed for the occasion there we go this will work perfectly time to grab some food and start surviving inside this world but there's one thing i want to know there's one very important thing I want to know. Before I do anything crazy, do the mobs see me? No. They see me as soon as I attack them. Okay. 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 That's really good to know. That's great. That is fantastic. I can just walk by the mobs. Yes? <gasps> oh, uh, yes. Yes. We're going to assume yes and keep on walking. That means I can go caving without having any worry of dying. <gasps> I love it. First things first today, I want to make sure we're able to survive. So getting as much coal as we can is going to be super important. But the main thing I really need here is iron. Oh, right. I'm invisible. Okay. He, yep. Uh -huh. That's going to be terrifying every time. It's never going to not be terrifying. Now that we've got a decent amount of iron from these caves down here, I want to make some furnaces and start smelting it. But I do have one thing I'm a little worried about. If I'm wearing armor, technically, I believe if you're wearing more than two pieces, mobs can see you. So we might have to only wear some boots or something. Most importantly though, we're making a shield. Got our pickaxe and a sword. How do you see me? Oh, villagers don't like me. Okay, hi buddy, hi, yeah, there we go. Well, we're in a massive cave down here. Maybe I can find some diamonds? I'm down at negative 54 right now. How are there no diamonds in this entire cavern? It's because they're right around the corner. I just realized there's a lush cave over there. That's huge. We can get moss blocks and glow berries. <gasps> diamond. And more diamonds. Oh, I love this. And my pickaxe is gone. Okay, we need a new one. And it is about time, my friends, that I don't have any wood. That's not time. We don't have a pickaxe for a while. <gasps> Wait, there's a spawner. And it's a skeleton spawner. What do we have in here? What do we have in here? <gasps> Oh my god, it's a notch apple. Inside of this, we have some azalea bushes. And potential to find an axolotl. Right there. There's an axolotl. Oh, he's adorable. But if we grow this, yes, wood. Now we're talking, my friends. Make those sticks right over there. And we've got our first diamond pickaxe. Now, the next thing I want to try here, I'm actually going to need a little bit more string. <gasps> Why did I just jump over that? Oh, I don't know. I'm thank very thankful I made that. Now, I was looking in the recipe book here for a little bit. And if I take this chest, we got our iron inside of here. Then I make four pieces of wool. This should hopefully work. <gasps> yes. Can I open it right here? Oh, <laughs> yes, look at all that space. Now that we have invisible and mobile storage the size of a double chest, it is time to mine as many resources down here as I could find. We're up to 17 diamonds now, meaning it is time to give ourselves a diamond sword, diamond shovel, and a diamond axe. Still with 11 spare diamonds for ourselves. Even though I managed to get a very large amount of diamonds, I wanna keep pushing on further to get as many resources as we can so we can jump out of here and start gathering up as many blocks as we can to build our starter house. This is really pushing me forward very quickly inside of this world. Full set of diamond armor, let's go. I'm not gonna wear it until we get back to the surface because I feel very scared to be down here. But on that note, I would also like to get out of here. Getting out of here sounds great now. Oh, no, perfect. Wow. Oh, that worked great. And we're right out here next to the birch forest. I think that was, oh no, that's a shark. That's a shark. Stay invisible. Keep moving. He only will sense you if you're afraid, but there is actually acacia wood back there. I would like some of that acacia wood and birch wood. I would love both saplings. I 
I'm sorry I chopped all your trees down, butterfly. I'll leave the rest of the forest for you. You're adorable. I'm thinking it's about time we make our way back home and, well, I guess find a place to call home is more important. Now, which way was spawn? But first, spruce saplings. It is nighttime. Back to Sneaky Boy. Saplings have been acquired, trees have been chopped, we're good to head on home. Right, we've made it back to where we started, and whoever that is, they seem like a great neighbor to have. I haven't seen any cows or sheep in this world so far, so we can live nearby somebody who has them? That seems like a big win. From humble beginnings, we shall rise. Uh, that was meant to be a double chest. We'll get it sorted out soon. It's just a first time test run. First time starting out in a long time. Melting up all my goodies. We got the last copper and last bits of gold smelted down and out of nowhere, sheeps and cows spawned around me. So we now have a lovely gray bed. Now that we've got a base camp ready to go, all of our stuff is smelting down. It's time to get a bunch of blocks together so I can actually build a house overhead so we're not standing out here in the rain. I can't tell if it's safer to wear my armor and be attackable so I at least have diamond armors on or just run around invisible the entire time. Or both. Ah, ah, ah. Well, it's raining. I'm gonna clear a little bit of space up here so that we have some room to work with and maybe I can trap these animals before they disappear again. The rain has finally ended and our area is a little cleared out, but I had a wee bit of a problem. I had a near death experience with a creeper while clearing out everything up here, but we have survived my friends. And that tells me one thing, we need to defend this area so we don't have to worry about that again. I've already created a safety box in the mountain if I need it, but what I want to do next is grow a bunch of spruce trees. But a wee bit of a problem here is I don't wanna turn this entire landscape into podzle as I like it as it is. So we're gonna go back to Skyblock tactics here. That'll be perfect. If you guys fell down here, I'll have to pick on up, but hopefully we'll get a lot of saplings out of this. Right, before we can get some animals inside of here, I think we need to defend this area as mentioned. So I wanna build a wall. And in modded Minecraft, we have these beautiful blocks here called spruce palisades but they are just walls and you can't jump over them claiming this side of the hill as well we have a contained area at least for things trying to come up the mountain from the top we'll worry about that soon i feel like i'm not gonna need that many animals especially if this is just a starter farm over here so i think something like this and grabbing some spruce wood right along here i'll move these furnaces in a minute i'm like that should work great for the back wall and then we just bring in a little bit of the oak and i'm really hoping these connect to fence gates yes looks like they do and we can just bend it right around here okay perfect now where did those cows and sheep run off to Sheep, pigs, oh, everybody's here. The whole family. Hello, you guys, do you follow me? You can't see me, that's that's the thing. Yep, I am invisible. Now they can see me, come on boys. And in the pen, there we go. Next up, I wanna get some crop fields ready to go so we can start breeding all of the animals. But first, I want to age down this copper and I believe through here, yes, we can times four it. I should have aged it as the previous. Now I have to place a stack and a half of copper. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, that was dumb. Now for my plan. I would love to bring a little bit of a waterfall from that cave up there into a bit of a pond here and have it flowing down this direction. We got water up here and it'll hopefully flow down into that pond I created. Yes, yes, yes. Look at us terraforming already and we don't even have a house. Adding a little bit of sugar cane around the base here. And I'm gonna need to make a hoe for this one. This is just gonna be something for a starter farm. And I thought it'd be cool to have it just around here along a little riverway. So we'll just throw all of our seeds down. And the most important crop, the copper. But I really do wanna bring this water all the way down. I don't know where it's gonna drop on the far side. There we go, it's fallen all the way down through the cave. Now's the point where I just need to grind a load of resources so we can actually build a house. And I want to build this thing largely out of oak wood. And I think I want to try and find some jungle wood too. But first, because I have one, I might as well. A spore blossom. It's a sign of what is to come. Night has fallen, but I've got my boat back and it's time to go exploring and see if we can't find a jungle. Well, this is new. That looks pretty cool. I don't think we really have any dripstone yet. And I think I want to fit this into the build today. Now that we have it on hand... 
There we go. Two stacks should do it. After traveling around for nearly an hour, I finally found one. I finally found a jungle biome. We can get some saplings and jungle wood and head on home. Back home, safe and sound with a load more jungle wood. I also grabbed a bunch of calcite while I was out, and then we got the dripstone so we could finally get building. I think I need a little bit more cobblestone, though, and a bunch more moss blocks. Since I'm here, I might as well get started with moving this cave over to being a mossy cave for ourselves because I think it's just going to look so much better. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a start. All right. The final item I'm going to need for this build here is we need a load of oak wood. So let's get to it. Got just about everything. I think I'm going to need to build up a very cool house over here crammed inside of this backpack. So I think it's time to give ourselves a home. Now for the house, I want to add some more copper into the roof. I just didn't have it. So I threw in a bunch of cobblestone up there and take two is I want to extend this into a tower that almost looks like a pillager outpost. I think it's going to be really cool, which I'm thinking we come all the way up to about here or maybe let's go up two more. So that brings us up 12 blocks. Yeah, that'll be great for viewing out over everything. And my axe broke and my face broke. And my diamond pickaxe is almost broken. So I guess we're going to put that away for now. And I'm going to go make an iron one because I don't want to lose my first diamond tools quite yet. What I thought could be cool from here is to bring up a little bit of our cobble deep slate, probably about three blocks. Let's go with now. Nope, I'm one shy. Of course, three blocks. At this point, we can mimic a little bit about what pillager outposts do by having a very large open middle floor here, which will also give us roof access, I guess. Or we could change this corner of the roof up and almost give ourselves a little bit of a balcony over here. That could be kind of cool. Then using our spruce supports, if we come up to about this tall, and I want to see if we use the trap doors, that gives us a cool little lip. Moving on to the upper levels, I want to start incorporating a little bit of oak, and then we'll transition up into the birch like we did on the house. Right, we've got our tower all the way up to the top now. And for the part that could potentially kill me, I need to place a little bit of blocks around here to get a platform. Now looking at the pillar drop post, we need a nice little railing to go around the edge. And then if I wanted to, I need to do a pillar right up here, but that's directly in line with what we already had. So using what we just found on the supports, Whip's got an idea, but it, uh, it's not gonna work. I already know it's not gonna work. But we could do that. Wait. Oh, we're onto something. Oh, I love it. Oh, this is going to do great. Now we just need to get a roof on this guy. All right, let's get to it. Starting from nothing on this hill, we now finally have a great place to call home and a watchtower to view over this entire valley to plot our pillaging adventures. There we go. Oh, it's done. Oh, I love it up here. Look at everything we can see, especially our giant ugly spruce trees. We'll get those cleaned up soon and probably a better way to get to the top. Yep, that's needed. Now for the base down here, I thought it could be kind of cool since I have some extra palisade walls to just bring these around a little bit in the corners. And I know that'll kind of link us up with the wall over here, but I think that's okay. Oh, this is looking fantastic. I'm really happy with how the base has turned out so far. Next up, we need to get some windows in here. For that I want to smelt down a load of glass. And I found this mod over here, chipped. And it has the glass blower, which looks like it gives us a bunch of custom types of glass I thought we could use. I think this thing's a multi block structure so I'm gonna put it out here in the back as if we're creating a small workstation for it like there <gasps> that's so cool but I want to move it over a block please don't break please don't break please don't break. yes we put glass in <gasps> oh I love it oh this is so fun oh I am so happy right now I think this one right here is gonna do great no it's too much <gasps> I get it back can we change them oh my lord you can change it back to regular glass how about this guy yes that 
Yes, that's a yes. That's a very big yes. All right, there we go. All moved in and time to decorate and rearrange. And I'm going to grab all of the furnaces we left in the ground over in this cave. To make things easy for now, we'll just do the four furnaces in the corner and I'll decorate later. We have a very good base of operations in here. We can do our smelting. We got a bunch of storage. We can do all the crafting we need. And I've got a little workstation out here in the back. But what I want to try setting up next is an enchanting setup for that i'm gonna need a lot more cows probably a little bit bigger of a wheat field we'll fill in the rest of the seeds as we go but that is much more like it well waiting for the cows to grow up i think it's about time that we uh chop these spruce trees down and get rid of the floating platform or not my axe broke okay that's fine i've got just enough on this guy to get these done holy cow you terrified me mr creeper oh that was a heart attack waiting to happen i guess i guess he owns the house now he's still here he's still here why are you still here lee i want to go inside my house okay all right we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way we're gonna actually fight a mob we're gonna actually fight a mob and he's nope stay up there you st no no okay we're not fighting the mob we're not fighting the mob nope run 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 and shoot the arrow and run the old fashioned way. I have to know how many arrows? Six, six arrows. That's how many it takes to kill a creeper. Next up, I think it's time that we dive into the caves for a little while and see if we can't find a few more diamonds. I only have one right now, so I can't even build an enchanting table if I wanted to. I think we check out this massive cave over here and see if it leads anywhere good for us. And I need to be very careful. Oh, diamonds, there we go. Yes, 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 yes. Right, we can make that enchanting table now. But I need some obsidian, so maybe we find some lava down here. Oh, there's lava down there, and why is there a deep slate tile? I'm not expecting to find any more diamonds down here since it looks like somebody's already been through these caves, so let's get the lava and get out. Very glad I brought the broken diamond pickaxe with me so we can actually get this now that I'm thinking about it. All right, 16 obsidian. That should be enough for all we need for now to make a portal and uh, make the enchanting setup. We've at least got a level one enchanting table ready to go here and a bunch of sugar cane I can plant down. So I'm gonna do just that through our little lush cave we're making over here. That actually looks pretty good and it'll be a great start for us over here. But that pickaxe is really almost dead now, so I need to be careful. But uh, fresh pickaxe acquired. Still waiting on all the cows to breed up and I've started bringing a pathway up here in the back as I think I can bring a small like yurt right into the side of this hill as a place to throw the enchanting setup. We toss another one of these roofs on top and I think it's gonna look really cool. Assuming enchanting setup is gonna go something about right there, I wanna give a little bit of space on the front. So if we do something like right about here, hi zombie. We can have a little small front balcony on this point so that we can get inside. And then maybe I'll rotate this enchanting setup so it comes around there. But I had an idea here actually to use the dripstone that we found earlier as a way to break away from the same oak and birch texture which we used there. So maybe this can be dripstone and oak. I think it'll look good. And then at the corners, we can bring in some of the palisades and almost have them protecting and reinforcing it. But first, got to breed up all the cows one more time because it's finally time. But with that, I got back to working on the roof so we could bring everything up there together. And I decided inside of the center of it to give ourselves a second floor in here so we could have a, just a little bit more height to the build. And there we go. The roof is done, fully equipped with a lightning rod. There's no front door yet, but we've got an enchanting setup ready to go. And we've got a nice little light up there. The spore blossom is making this area look so magical. And I love the little tower addition. Oh, it looks so good. I think we're getting close to reaching maximum capacity over here. So I think one more round of breeding and then we just go for it. Forty-six books crafted, and we've got ourselves fifteen bookshelves. Oh, that feels good. All right, we're at level twenty-two enchantments, and then if we do this, that brings us up to twenty-eight, and then we will do this. Level thirty sharpness four. What do we get here? Efficiency four. Oh, we're taking that right now. I was thinking about it, and I also want to make a new bow since I am super powered with them. From the origin, bowmaster bows deal more damage. So if we go with this, that's efficiency four right now. What are you? Unbreaking three. Let's roll the efficiency. 
Oh my lord, that's amazing. Oh, I love this. Infinity on a bow. Holy cow, what are these enchantments? You have got to be kidding me. I'm sure there will be many, many things to kill in the very near future with our brand new bow, my friends. But that is going to have to do it for today's episode, the first episode of Afterlife SMP. Thank you all so very much for watching. Leave a like down below if you're excited. Let me know in the comments what you want to see me doing in this series and everything like that. Would love some ideas from you all. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. We are flying towards 900,000 subs. So I really do appreciate it. But with that, my friends, I will catch you all on the flip side.